ride this thing on the commons today? Yeah, we're pretty excited. Not doing um, head bulk today, but uh, I guess this makes up for it in a way. The last here it goes. Normally I think you'd be pretty nervous about it being so light, but um, the technology, how far it's come these days, you could, I think you're in pretty safe hands with Cervelo. This section of uh, Pave that we're going to today is? It's a friend of mine lives here and he said it's exactly the same as a Rubay section, really rough. So it's about uh, 500 metres long, he told me. I actually don't know where it is of myself, but he's going to come here soon and uh, take us there. And there, we'll give it a burl, eh? Product development with the Cervelo test team is really cool because we have a four-step protocol, which if we follow this protocol, we almost never have problems in races. The first step is develop a product, which everybody does that. You develop a product, lab test it until you think it's ready. The second step for the Cervelo test team is race engineer testing. That's where we take it and uh, do lab testing or functional testing that's not necessarily in the standard portfolio of required tests, legal tests or in-house tests. Uh, the third step is testing the products on the training bikes. Uh, the test team mechanics see it for the first time at this step, the riders see it for the first time at this step, and we get even more feedback, usability, ease of use, uh, things like that, feedback from the riders and mechanics. Fourth step, if everything goes well in the first three steps, the product is available for use in racing. Uh, everybody at this point has confidence. The, the Cervelo test team partner whose product we're developing, the race engineer has confidence, the mechanics know the part, the riders know the part, and it's available for the racing. If a bike makes it on the cobbles, you can relax about all the other places that a bike can be ridden. When I go to the team and talk to the riders, they'll answer any question on the spot, and I can get any inf information I want right there. Damon, how are you? Pretty good, Brent. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Not racing today, but uh, tomorrow. When I got the call from Brett, we uh, sent an email to Don Gachard in California. This is a facility that is all for uh, research and development for Cervelo. Don Gachard is a genius when it comes to composites and bikes, and he's been around bikes working with composites for 20 or 30 years, and before that, aerospace with composites. He knows all the fibers and resins, and he's just amazing. The Project California wasn't really so much a product-focused development, it was really a knowledge-focused development. So, yes, we've made a product out of it and we're selling a few, but this isn't really a production center. It's not really designed to make a profit. This actually started three years ago, and so it's not just, oh, let's get something a little bit lighter so we can brag about the results. It's really the development of a complete process, everything from our first step was actually looking at how bikes are tested. For instance, the torsional stiffness of a frame that really determines how stable a bike feels on a, on a downhill. We actually took a bike frame, put strain gauges on it to actually measure what happens when you're going down the road. We were able to simulate that in the lab and then develop a better test that simulates. It's been a lot of work this time, but we're developing those tools that will be better and quicker and more productive in the future. You have engineers in offices and they're working on designs and basically they throw those designs over the wall to manufacturing. And then manufacturing's in their own little world, doing their all pieces, trying to make these engineers happy. You find there's a disconnect between what's going on. So this is a way to help us tie together not only the, the brainstorming and thoughts and concepts we have for the future, but bringing those down into design. With composites, you're taking a layer at a time, perhaps 3 thousandths of an inch a layer in multiple different pieces, and applying those, each one individually. So we have maybe an estimating 350 different pieces in one of our frames. If someone thinks of a carbon bicycle frame as a piece of plastic, they won't be very close to the truth. 
if you're an engineer and you like making stuff, we've got a pretty cool facility. Oh man, this is a great playground. I'm kind of an all-arounder anyway, so the design analysis gets married with, with getting dirt under my fingernails, uh, breaking things, uh, watching things get built, seeing the reaction of people that ride the result. It's a real joy. Well, the point of making a 675 gram frame for a 56 is that you know, we don't sell bikes to pros. We sell bikes to people that don't ride with the UCI weight limits. It doesn't matter. So they're going to have the total enjoyment of it. And from the other side of it, we do it because it's there, because it's a challenge, because we can make better bikes doing it. It's going to be an experience like a yeah. kid in a lolly shop, I think. It's, uh, you're getting out there and um, it's like when you're young and you get on your first light bike ever, first good bike, it's that level again. So it's going to be nice. He's been a big part of the development of this frame and that's one of the advantages of owning the team is getting that buy-in and that immediate response and feedback on, on the bike. So that's been great. bike was uh, obviously very responsive and light, it's for, the acceleration was quick and when I settled into it halfway down the descent I really ripped into it and it was very responsive in the corners. But this is kind of the ultimate of what we can do at this point with all the technologies that we've been investigating over the last few years. If, if this was a job I think they'd have to pay me some more money <laughs> and I don't think if it was just a job you'd be able to do a very good job at it to begin with. It has to be a passion. You have to want to make something better. And that, that goes throughout the company. And the support and the encouragement that I get from, from Toronto and Phil and Gerard and the rest of the company is, is actually key. So the goal of this facility is not to be a mass producer of bicycle frames. This is our learning facility. And out of that, we're fortunate enough to make a very high-end, exciting, fun-to-ride frames.